Now to a brutal sport, which many thought died out centuries ago, but bare knuckle boxing is making a comeback. Did for some this weekend, did you? <laughs> Imagine. So I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> Promoters apparently want to bring glovers brawling back to the masses by making it licensed, legal and organised. An These... ambitious plans will tonight see over 2,500 people watch a bout of fights at London's O2 Arena. Johnny Lanson has more. If you look at a guy's chest, you can tell how, how much experience the guy's had. You can tell how he's going to deal with the situation. You can tell how he controls his emotion because you can see his heart beating out of his chest. Liam Cullen in Leeds has spent a lifetime in combat sports, but this weekend he's fighting for a world title in one of the most extreme of all. Now, when I say the words bare knuckle boxing, you possibly think of gangsters settling feuds or old Victorian times. But there are a group of people that's determined to bring this sport back to the mainstream and take it legally to the masses. We want to be on television. We want to be on TV. You can watch it on a Saturday night in every home in, in the world, basically. That's where the aim is. And I think it will get there because people do love what we're doing. This is a new breed of sport that's licensed, legal and organised. We've copied um, pretty much the safety measures with, with the glove box and what they do. So we have ambulance teams, general medical council doctors, trauma medics, ambulances on site, and all the, the facilities where you have, we have um, brain scans for the fighters. So all the, um, the stuff that professional boxers would have, we, we have that in place as well. It's, it's that risk factor. You want to test yourself, you want to, you want to put yourself in a dangerous situation whereby I want to test my, my, my skill set. That's what it's about. The history of bare knuckle is hundreds of years old, where champions like Richard Humphreys entertained thousands. Today, this sport is relying on its rawness and its characters to grab the attention once again. He looks confident, knowing what he's going to do. Another one of those characters is 28-year-old Louis Powell, a wealthy businessman from Bournemouth, making the unconventional decision to fight his first ever bare knuckle bout. Anything that scares you and you push yourself and you go out and you do that, you choose to make a decision, that, a hard decision, you know, this is going to be scary, this could get hurt, could be this, this and this. Personally, I just like getting in there and you know, having a scrap and testing myself, you know. Um, I, I enjoy, I like getting hit, I like hitting back and, you know, just, just getting real good excitement out of it. I love it. Well, as you can see, this is a serious business. The fighters stand to win thousands in prize money and it's expected to be watched on pay-per-view all over the globe. Thousands will attend the O2 Indigo in London to watch a fight card of around 10 bare-knuckle bouts. This is getting big. You know, we'll put an event on in the middle of January. Now, even boxing, glove boxing, traditional, doesn't put events on in the middle of January and sell huge tickets like that. You know, there's only a few percent of the big glove shows who can sell that kind of, that kind of numbers and have the audience that we have watching it. The appetite's there and it's, we're not going away, we're going to be here for good. This sport is determined to prove it shouldn't be consigned to the history books. And tonight, at one of the most prestigious venues in the country, its fight continues. Johnny Ianson, BBC News.